Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Before and After Shaves. Today I've got my test subject here, a good friend of mine as well. And I'm going to do a safety razor shave with my Gillette Fat Boy on his face today, like a barber would. And this will be his first shave with a safety razor as well. And he's already prepped his face with um, Paraso White Pre-Shave Cream. And the products I'm going to use today is the, uh, the Palm Olive Shave Cream and a uh, Derby blade in the razor on setting four on my, again, Gillette Fat Boy 1958 D4 date code. And I'm going to start by lathering up the, the um, Palm Olive Shave Cream. And this is the Rinfren Sante mentholated version, Creme de Barba. All right, I'm going to put just a little pea size in the bowl. Yeah, about that much. And the bowl I'm using today is my collapsible shave bowl. Or it's a regular collapsible bowl, but it's silicone. And it's actually meant to be a dog bowl, but it works very good for lathering your cream and soap. I'm going to wet the brush under some hot water. Give it about three good flakes or so. And let's get the lathering here. Just that little pea size does a lot. And it starts off real soapy, but it, let's see. Yeah, I might have to might get your rag wet and get your face wet before I put this on. Okay. There we go. I think that might be enough. Okay. Looks good. You got plenty. You can smell that. <laughs> Smells good, by the way. Yeah, it's a good, a good mentholated scent. It's gonna have some good slickness. Okay. Now, as I've said, I've, also I've got my blade loaded in the razor and ready to go. I'm gonna start lathering. And I've also, I'm using my brine brush today, and it's already been pre-sanitized. Along with the razor. Yes, I sanitized the razor and um, and the barbicide. <laughs> and it's his first time using a shave brush too. It's pretty soft, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Let's see, I might have to... It's different for me lathering someone else's face. But I'm acting like a... I'm acting as barber today without knocking stuff off the table. Okay. Actually, it's really different for me to lather somebody else, but he was willing to give it a shot and he wanted me to do it for him today. <laughs> I might have to wipe her mouth off. But yeah, the brush, like I said, it's been sanitized. Everything's clean. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Okay. And it's hard for me to tell if I do a good job unless it's my own face, but I'll, I'll see what he says. Feels great. Oh, that's good to hear. It's nice and soft feeling, I guess. Mm hmm It's got that good palm oil in it, so it'll mm -hmm. be slick. All right, let's, let's do the barber shave. Okay. Dog in your hair. Let's see. Sounds like it's pretty comfy. Mm -hmm. Trying to let the weight of the razor do the work. Should I missed a. I like to see it better when I'm looking at somebody else. Mm. Yeah. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just, feels really nice. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying that. It's mm -hmm. definitely new for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay, and it's on setting four, like I said. Oh, see, it's kind of tuggy. You just got to do short strokes. Trying to get under the nose, it's kind of tough. Mm -hmm. 
rotate the blade. You want to have even use on both sides, mm -hmm. whether you're shaving somebody else or yourself mm -hmm. or your own face. I believe it's a comfy blade. Mm -hmm. yeah, it feels very mild. Yeah, it's hard for me to get a, get a, above your nose. That's okay. Yeah, it's going to miss because I can't get that far up. <laughs> it grows up higher than mine does. I'm going to rinse it off again. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me fix that. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I can see you from the first one. You might want to might wanna hear that. Yeah, there we go. I hope everyone's having a good day and having good shaves as well. It's been starting to get cold out mm -hmm. up here. The weather's changing. A lot of the trees haven't changed color yet. I can't see how far over. I think that's right. Gotta do it on that alignment. I'm starting to go on down on his neck. I'm sorry y'all can't see this angle, but I'll get to that. I might miss some hairs. Yeah, there's not as much cream on that part. Let me rinse this off and I'll put a little more cream on that. Actually, have to go back over here. It disappeared. Hmm. Now, this is a good shave cream. It usually ain't supposed to dissipate. Hmm. But since it's taken me a little bit of time to get used to shaving somebody else, it does take a little time. I also have a short neck. So. Yeah, it's a little tough to go down this side. Oh, miss some up here. I have to kind of do a few pickups. Is that better? Yeah. Let's see, I'm missing a few here. I would say it's not always good to keep constantly buffing and shaving in the same spot because that can cause skin irritation. Mm -hmm. Doesn't bother me. That's good. And that's a very mild blade combination with the razor. So it helps with that. Feels kind of thick there. Just light like short strokes. Yeah, it got kind of thick on that. But I'm still not getting all those. <clears throat> it's okay. One pass might be good. Actually, let me get a little water. Because it was kind of thick. Okay. There we go. You still hear some good feedback. Mm -hmm. It sounds like scratching. Mm hmm. And the feedback is a good sound, because that's what you want to hear as well. Yeah, I probably should put some on that. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like it would pass for a daily shave. It feels good. It feels clean and, mm -hmm. and fresh. Yeah, a good clean, fresh smell and a good, clean, slick soap. All right. And if you want to go ahead and rinse your face off with this rag. This so we can go through, go for it. Uh, if we want to do a sideways pass or do it, a, do it across the green. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna wipe your face off. Yeah, I think the angle's okay. Yeah. I had it more towards you because I was trying to have it focused on you. Mm -hmm. 
Just that one side of your showing face. that both sides look the same. Yes. Yeah, I do apologize of the, the angle of one face, one side of the face. It's hard to see, but it's just tough to get seating arrangements in this bathroom right because it's, it's kind of a tight bathroom. And I'm a pretty big guy, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kind of re-lather just a little bit, kind of fluff it back up. Get moisture because it did feel kind of thick on that first pass, especially on the neck. This is why we do more. Yeah. Actually, when you put water in it, it might expand it some more. It actually is. Okay. So I'm the ladder for the second pass. Okay, you got a message. <laughs> I hear your cell phone going off. Man, I, don't, I need the ladder just a little bit more cream. I didn't get quite enough because it's struggling. I thought I had plenty. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm not speaking a lot in the video. I mean, there's not a lot I can think to talk about at the moment. Let's see. I'm glad for the second pass because I had to add some more. I ran out or I didn't feel like I had enough. Okay. And again, I'm not used to lathering at this point of view. <laughs> it's kind of something fun we thought we'd try out for everybody and see how it works. Okay. Let the razor warm up under some warm water. I think I'll turn it down to a three because I don't need it as aggressive or as high. Because that's, again, a derby blade, just a standard derby. Derby Extra on setting three. That's a very mild shave. Actually, that across the pass is going to be kind of different. Let's see. There we go. Still cutting pretty good. Mm -hmm. Feels like it's a little bit dry. Should feel pretty slick. Okay. I'll switch to the other side. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but he washed his face before the shave too, before he put the pre-shave cream on. So yes, his face is cleaned. And it can be hard to also get like down the jawline too, because it's kind of an odd place. Let's see here. Trying to have to, might have to do that. That's actually across the green pass. It's easier to get under the nose, especially if the razor lacks overhang. And that's what you got to consider is the overhang of the blade on the razor, so you don't cut your ear or cut your nose. Or anything hanging below. Okay. I had to switch angles. Might have to Let's see. You're trying to get the surface so you're shaving flat enough so you can get a clean shave on that without cutting your lip. If I got caught your sideburn. Or not cyber, but your goatee. Mm -mm. Seems good. Okay, I'm gonna do the neck. Actually, I feel like I have to warm that back up. Yeah, it's the neck I have to relather because it took me a little bit on the face. There we go. Getting better at that. Lather like I would on my own face. <laughs> neck brace. Mm -hmm. Long strokes with the brush, it gets it a good coverage on the neck. If anyone struggles with that, I mean, with the razor, get, get wet. I 
There we go. I can hear it cutting pretty good. Try not to add pressure. Again, this palm olive cream, it's been around for many years. It's very popular. It comes in stick form as well. I don't know if you knew that. But it comes in stick form too, like my Arco soap does. And it's sold pretty, uh, it's, it's still pretty common in um, the United Kingdom and Europe and up in that area. And on wine markets. Oh, I, oh, it looks like a nicked you up here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't hurt a lot. Okay. This is against my first time shaving anybody. Yeah, it feels kind of thick. Yeah, I'll make sure I wash my hands afterwards. I haven't come in contact with the blood, so. Can't see how far it goes down. It may not be as close on the neck, but this is, this is how we go. I imagine I got pretty good. You want to do a face feel and see if her neck feels fine. Mm -hmm. It's not going to feel as much going up, but or going. It's going to feel better going down than going up. Yeah, it feels fine. Okay, well, there we have it, folks. That's the that's the um, that's the two passes that we've done so far. I'm gonna rinse that off. Okay, if you want to rinse your face off, actually. Oh, he's in a white rag. Didn't consider that one. But then he cuts. Alright. I know what it was. Hmm. Didn't feel like it pressed too hard, did it? No. Didn't? Okay. Those of you out there watching, I have a slightly raised mole on my chin, which is what was got cut, but I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay. And like he said, it is his first time doing someone else, and I think he did a pretty, really, really great job. So thank you. I definitely come back. And I'm not a licensed barber by any means. <laughs> no. But there's just a couple of us friends you know, wanted to try this out, and mm -hmm. so far it's been a success. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my head's cut off. <laughs> All right, we got that part. Now, um, you want to put on any? Actually, I might want you to go ahead and do the witch hazel because you got some blood on your face. I've got tea tree oil in this witch hazel too. I didn't tell you that. I put 12, 12 drops of tea tree oil on this before I used it before. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can let him put it on his own face because I don't want to come in contact. Okay. We want to put it like in the palm of your hand. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm putting some witch hazel. Yeah, he's not used to putting on witch hazel. Mm -mm. But it's good to, it's a good aftershave, especially for the cuts. You got, you got a good one under your, under your mouth, okay. It doesn't burn, it's, mm -mm. it's got 10% alcohol, I think, but it smells it, really nice. Thanks. It might be the tea tree that added to it. That's a very soothing, good for any irritation, good for daily use. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next you can... Also, I'm going to let them use this um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Star Jelly Aftershave Balm. Oh, I love that Star Jelly. Yeah, this is also his first time using this as well. Might try to get them out. There we go. All right, it's going to rub it in good on your face like you would any sunblock. It's going to oh, feel... Oh, yeah, right in there. Smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. It's non-greasy. Mm. Good smell. Mm, feels good. Awesome. Mm. You probably need some under your... Mm -hmm. you got, yeah, you got... You had some... Look, you had some... You can't really see it, but you had some blood like under your lip, but you got it. Just in my beard. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it smells nice. It's unscented. Mm -hmm. But you can also buy scented versions of these, too, on Phoenix's website, phoenixshaving.com. <laughs> all right. I believe that is a, that was the post-shave. Um, let me go over the products again. Again, I've used the um, Gillette 1958 D4 code Fat Boy Razor <clears throat> with the uh, Derby Mild, a Mild Derby Extra Blade. This is what the wrapper looks like. And the cream I used was the Palm Olive Rinfrancante Creme de Barba Shaving Cream. 
It's a very good price soap. You can get three or four bucks online. And the brush I used was the Brian, my Brian Griffin brush with a 24 millimeter tuxedo knot with my collapsible silicone bowl. And then also Pochet was Witch Hazel, T and Dickinson's with added witch, um, starch, um, tea tree oil. And ended the shave with the star jelly aftershave balm combination. Again, I thank everybody for watching this video. I appreciate all your subscriptions. And again, thanks again for being my test subject. No problem. It's very enjoyable. Something different. That's a great time. Be sure to like, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, list them in the list them in the bottom of the video. Any all the links to the products are probably in the description. Thank you mm -hmm. for thanks for watching. Yes, thank you for watching before and after shaves.